This is part 3 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a new ASP.NET Core project in Visual Studio 2017 and along the way, we'll also discuss the different project templates that are available and what they do. To create a new ASP.NET Core project in Visual Studio, click on File, New, Project. On the left pane, select .NET Core under Visual C Sharp because we are using C Sharp as the programming language and then in the middle pane we'll find all the installed project templates. Notice we have a template for creating a .NET Core console application. Similarly, a template for creating a class library project and then three templates for creating unit testing projects. Each template with a different unit testing framework MS Test, NUnit, and XUnit. And then finally, a template for creating ASP.NET Core web application. We want to create a web application, so I'm going to select this template and then provide a meaningful name to our application. We're going to use this application to create, read, update, and delete employees. So I'm going to name this Employee Management. And I'm going to place the project within Projects folder in C Drive. And then finally, click OK. Notice this screen displays the list of all available project templates for creating an ASP.NET Core web application. This first empty template does not contain much content. It contains the bare minimum amount of content required to display Hello World in the browser. This is the template that we'll use and set up everything from scratch manually so we clearly understand how different pieces fit together in an ASP.NET Core web project. This template, Web Application, Model View Controller, generates a lot of content. For example, it creates models, views, and controllers folders. It also adds web specific things like CSS files, JavaScript files, layout files, and other resources needed for a website. I have already created a project using this template, and here is that project. Notice we have quite a lot of content generated by this template. We have models, views and controllers folders. In the views folder, we have sample views and layout views that represent the user interface of a web application. In this www root folder, we also have the CSS files and JavaScript files that are typically required by a web application. We can use this template to create our project, but because this template is generating quite a lot of content, it might be a bit difficult to understand how these different pieces fit together. So I have chosen to use the empty template so we can create everything from scratch. Next, we have this API template. As the name implies, this template includes everything that we need to create an ASP.NET Core RESTful HTTP service. An API does not have a user interface, so all the website specific things like JavaScript files, CSS files, view files, layout files, etc. are not required for an API. The data that a web API exposes is usually consumed by other applications. So an API template just creates the controllers folder and a sample controller within that folder. It does not create web user interface specific things like views, for example, as they are not required for an API. I already created a project using this API template, and here is that project. Notice here we have much less content than the content that is generated by the web application MVC template. We don't have all the website specific things like CSS files, layout files, JavaScript files. We only have the controllers folder and a sample values controller within that folder. Next, we have this web application template. This template uses the new Razor Pages framework for building web applications. With Razor Pages, coding page focused scenarios is easier and more productive. We typically use this approach when we do not want the full complexity of ASP.NET MVC. We can think of it as a slimmer version of the MVC framework. We'll discuss Razor Pages in detail in our upcoming videos. Next, we have this Razor Class Library project template. As the name implies, we use this template to create a reusable Razor Class Library project. This project contains all the reusable user interface pieces like data models, page models, 
controllers, pages, razor views and view components, this razor class library project can then be reused in multiple applications. Any application that uses the razor class library can override the views and pages it contains. We'll discuss razor class libraries in our upcoming videos. Finally, we have these three templates. We use these templates to create an ASP.NET Core web application in combination with Angular, React or React and Redux. Now we want to use the empty template because we want to learn everything from scratch. So select that and uncheck this checkbox, configure for HTTPS and click OK. There we go. We have our ASP.NET Core project generated. Now if we take a look at the Solution Explorer, notice we have the minimum amount of code generated by the empty project template. All this project can do at the moment is display Hello World in the browser. So let's run our project. To run the project, click on the debug menu and then select this option, start without debugging or we can also use the keyboard shortcut, Control F5. There we go. We have Hello World displayed as expected. In our next video, we'll explore and understand the ASP.NET Core project file. Thank you for watching.